Alex Thomason. I'm the department head and professor in agricultural and biological engineering. A brief description of agricultural and biological engineering is that we are about engineering for human well-being. We focus on food production, the environment, and also biomedical applications. So we cover everything from the need of people to eat, to have a safe environment, and also to have good medical care. Hi, my name is Will Couch. I'm a biomedical engineering major from Hoover, Alabama, and I'm a sophomore at Mississippi State. I knew throughout high school that I wanted to do engineering because I was good at math and science, um, and I wanted to help people, so biomedical gave me that opportunity to get on that pre-med track so I can hopefully become a doctor, go to med school, and be able to help people. A prospective student should choose ABE because they are interested in, for example, biomedical engineering, they are interested in the environment, or they are interested in agriculture, which basically means production of food. One of my favorite things about being an engineer at Mississippi State is that all of the different concentrations share the same classes. So in my five classes I take in a semester, I'll have the same few people throughout them. And so being able to see those people every day and work on the same things, go through the same struggles, helps bring us together. And it's interesting because they're not people I would have met otherwise. They're people who are a lot different from me, who think differently from me, who um, act differently from me, but I get to see those different perspectives through engineering because we do share that same major. And so I really love the way the engineering department is able to bring such different students together. Our job opportunities available for our students involve uh, working in the biomedical devices industry. We have a number of students who take jobs with companies like Baxter Healthcare. We also have students on the environmental and agricultural side who go to work for the government, for example, EPA, uh, for the State Department of Environmental Quality. They also go to work for engineering consulting firms that focus on uh, environmental protection and environmental permitting. I'm currently involved in Engineers Without Borders, which is an organization here at Mississippi State like Doctors Without Borders, where we go to other countries and we're able to help them with different engineering projects. We're currently working on water irrigation system in Ecuador, so helping people get access to clean water that aren't um, able to. And so that's been really fulfilling to see those changes that we're going to be able to make in those people's lives and use the things I'm learning to really make a difference in the world. I'm also involved in Engineering Recruitment Leaders, an organization here with a focus on recruiting prospective students to engineering. And it's been really um, a great experience to see those other ERLs and see how passionate they are about this college, to see how much they care and how much it has impacted them and their lives. And we have lots of co-op and internship opportunities available. In fact, they come in all the time. We see them each week, new opportunities. So uh, it, it's impossible to be comprehensive about all the opportunities available, but we do have them with some of the companies I mentioned before, some of these biomedical device companies. We also have internship opportunities with consulting firms and a good number of uh, government, both state and federal government uh, co-oping opportunities. And these vary from biomedical engineering to agricultural engineering to natural resources, uh, you name it. We have lots and lots of internship and co-op opportunities available. One of my biggest pieces of advice for students is to acknowledge that the classes are going to be hard and prepare yourself in a way where you're not going at it alone. Talk to the different students in your class who are also going through those assignments and struggles and work with them. Get their number, text them, see if they need any help, try and get for help from them. But don't go through it alone. Work with the other students. My favorite part about ABE is the people there. Um, I love our discipline. I love the fact that we do engineering to meet people's needs. Uh, but I also love the people in our department. Uh, we have a very collegial group of faculty and staff members, and uh, we have students uh, in the department who excel. They're excellent students, and um, it's just a great place to work and a great place to study. One of the best reasons to choose biomedical engineering is the opportunity to help others. Um, the broad career paths that you can choose, whether it's being a doctor, going into working in prosthetics, going into research, all ultimately tie into helping others. So if you want to be able to help people, biomedical engineering is the way to go.